Hello there and welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, if you're looking for a cool operating system that's perfect, perfect for beginners and beyond, I suppose, though it's not Windows. Look, Windows, it works, but the maintenance and the update procedures, let me just say it's just not fun. But let's talk about something that is fun and a joy to use and that is the latest Ubuntu Mate 16.04 Xenial Xeris. This is going to be officially released as you see here tomorrow. Ubuntu Mate. If there was to be such, such a thing as a Linux desktop for the masses, I think this would have to be in consideration. You know this year marks 10 years since I first messed around with Ubuntu. Of course, back then it was Windows XP. And even though it wasn't really ready for prime time back then, at least not for me, I found it to be different, somewhat easy to use. Of course, back then there was more of a learning curve. And the speed of Linux over Windows really impressed me. Well, now fast forward 10 years later, and of course you do have multiple choices when it comes to a fine Linux operating system for the masses. You know, I was at a mall Sunday and I went into my first Apple store. And I suppose Apple computers eh, somewhat based on Linux, although it's really Unix, a desktop for the masses, well, for some people, but I think it's priced out of range for a lot of people also. Google Chromebooks based off of Linux, I believe Gentoo. Uh, it's based off of Linux, but a Linux desktop for the masses? I don't think so because I, I believe Android, a Android desktop for the masses makes sense because look at all the freaking Android smartphones and tablets. But what about a Linux based operating system in general for the masses? This would have to be, if not number one on my top five list. Now why do I say this? Well, I dual boot with Windows and I want something that just freaking works click and go as I like to call it keeping it simple click and go and I think a beginner like if I was to pop this in install this for a complete newbie beginner dare I say dummy and I say that with all due respect and friendship if I was to show this to that person do you think they would get around I think so the first thing well, well you know Firefox here looks familiar Hey, we got a time and date. Again, th this is all simple stuff that anybody can figure this out. Going to applications, again, self-explanatory. Now, I wouldn't expect a complete beginner to know everything here, but some of this they can probably figure it out. Internet, of course, you know, Firefox, Office, just clicking one of these and they would probably figure it out. Uh, if they wanted to play music, I suppose they would probably first click sound or maybe VLC, but again, self-explanatory system tools, again, they would have to muck around with this to figure it out. But in terms of an operating system that's very easy to use, that's designed for beginners, and uh, you know, again, I suppose even if you're an advanced user, why is that good? Because this just works. This was what Ubuntu was when I first started. I think 10 years ago, this is what it looked like. And that's why back then, I didn't find it too hard to navigate through this. Now, Ubuntu changed back in 2011 to the Unity desktop. And there was a lot of, well, I hate to use the word hatred back then, but there was a lot of discontent, discontent among the Linux community. And I have to admit, at the time, I found it a little bit amusing coming from a you know Windows user background, but I got it because it wasn't what people expected. But I had to choose one. I had to choose either Unity or at the time the brand new GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell. I, I found Ubuntu to be uh, more user friendly and less of a learning curve. So I stuck with Ubuntu Unity, but in terms of what's more user-friendly for absolute beginners, it has to be something like this. It just has to. Now, I'll have a full report later on. I still have to install updates, and of course, the official release is tomorrow. But, and I have to install guest editions to make this full screen. But that being said, that's, that's all minor stuff. 
But that being said, if there is such a thing as a Linux gold standard, at least for beginners, right now this is my number one choice for the Linux distribution of the year for 2016. It so far, even in a virtual machine, it just works. I haven't tested every single application, of course, but so far I haven't noticed anything that crashes or glitches or anything like that. This will, I, I will say this, this will have to stay in a virtual machine. I will not be able to install it in my production desktop because you may have read about the um, AMD graphics drivers. Those will not be available and I guess for my machine I do need the other, what I call the extra drivers or the proprietary drivers to make my screen uh, work the way I want it to or my proper resolution rather. But for some of you, maybe the open source drivers may be just fine. I need the other drivers. and But that's it is the only reason why I cannot install this in my production machine just yet. Of course, if you have Intel or NVIDIA, that should not be a problem. And I'm not blaming this on the developers of Ubuntu Mate or specifically Martin Wimpress, who's done a fantastic job. Hello, Martin. Um, so yeah, this is right now unless something changes, this is this is my Linux gold standard at least for beginners uh for this year for 2016. But I'll have more on this later on. All right, well that's all I have for this one. I just wanted to give you my quick thoughts about this. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think, but so far at least in a virtual machine, it's looking pretty good. So check it out. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive.